Hi Ainsley, hi Ryland, hi Walker, hi Eve. A very special thank you to your Tanta Mimi for giving me this book to read to you. And what this book is about is a girl who in the middle of her English class suddenly starts talking in a very strange and crazy way. Let's read the story and find out what happens. Double Trouble in Walla Walla by Andrew Clements, illustrated by Salvatore Murdaka. It was an ordinary Monday morning in Walla Walla until Lulu raised her hand in class. Mrs. Bell, I feel like a nitwit. My homework is all higgledy-piggledy. Last night it was in tip-top shape, but now it's a big mishmash. Mrs. Bell said, Nitwit, higgledy-piggledy, mishmash, Lulu, stop that flip-flop chitter-chatter or you'll be in double trouble. Lulu said, But I'm not trying to flip-flop chit-chat. I just have an itty-bitty problem with my homework. Mrs. Bell scowled. All right for you, Lulu. If you're going to shilly-shally and dilly-dally with all this fancy-schmancy yak-yak, then we'll just have to trick-trot down to the principal's office. Mrs. Bell hurried Lulu down the hall, and they burst into the principal's office. Mr. Thomas said, What's all the hubbub about? Mrs. Bell said, Lulu's been trying to razzle-dazzle me with some kind of lippity-loppity-jibber-jabber, and now I'm all helter-skelter myself. Mr. Thomas raised his eyebrows. Tut, tut. Sounds like silly willy hocus-pocus to me. Mrs. Bell's mouth dropped open. She pointed to the principal and said, Eeka, freeka! Lulu's got your tongue all topsy-turvy, too. Now, now, don't get the gym jams, Mrs. Bell. Let's give the nurse a yoo-hoo. Mr. Thomas picked up his phone and said, Mrs. Carter, I'm going to pitter-patter over to your office. Okie dokie. All three went across the hall to the nurse's office. Mr. Thomas said, Howdy doody, Mrs. Carter. We're a little wacko wacko. Lulu's got us talking to sing song claptrap like we're cuckoo. Mrs. Carter smiled at Lulu and said, Fiddle faddle, Lulu and I are palsy walsies. She wouldn't try that kind of phony baloney tutti fruity flim flam. Lulu and her teacher and the principal stared at the nurse. Lulu said, Wowie, zowie. Mrs. Bell said, Jeepers, creepers. And Mr. Thomas said, Holy moly, you're in the same hodgepodge we are. I'd better give the superintendent a jingle jangle. Chop, chop. Wait one ding ding tick tock, shouted the nurse. If you chit chat with the big wig, then he'll yak yak like Lulu too. If we're not very, very hush-hush about this, there could be a mongo-mongo brain drain, and everybody in Walla Walla will be talking like a herky-jerky dingling. Then the nurse turned to Lulu. Lulu, let's get to the nitty-gritty. When did all this mumbo-jumbo start? In English class, I had an itsy-bitsy problem with my homework, and then, zip-zap, Mrs. Bell said talking like this was a no-no. The nurse looked over the top of her glasses at Lulu. Something like this would not just happen willy-nilly. Now Lulu, think extra extra hard and tell me what you did yesterday. Well, said Lulu, it was really a humdrum day. I was practicing ballet in my tutu when my little brother Bobo asked me to play on the teeter-totter. We seesawed until Bobo slipped off and got a boo-boo and started to boo-hoo. Mama and Papa came running pell-mell, so I went inside and splish-splashed in the rub-a-dub tub and then hip-hopped into my cuddly-wuddly Betty-Betty. I said night-night to Mama and Papa and Bobo and fell asleep in a snip-snap. That's all I did. Honest. Mrs. Carter said, Lulu, it seems to me that you've opened up a knock 'em sock 'em wibble wobble word warp. I usually don't believe in this kind of hoodoo bunko junko, but if it was going to happen anywhere, it would probably happen right here in Walla Walla. Mrs. Bell said, 
Let's not quibble quabble, Mrs. Carter. I'm getting the heebie-jeebies from all this razzmatazz. What can we do? We should say all the rootin' tootin', crinkum crankum, woolly bully words we can think of. Maybe that will clear the air and close the warp. Worth a try? Asked Nurse Carter. Mr. Thomas said, Aye, aye. Mrs. Bell said, Let's do -si do And Lulu said, Uh-huh. Nurse Carter closed the door to her office, and she turned around and said, Lulu, let's get this harem scarum show on the road. Lulu stood right up and blurted out, Ticky tacky knick knack, coochie coochie coo, hubba hubba roger dodger, ooey gooey goo. Mrs. Carter cleared her throat and said, <clears throat> Hugger mugger hop knob, pit a patter bon bon, wishy washy squish squash, handy dandy mish mosh. Mr. Thomas closed his eyes and started slowly, but picked up speed. Beansy beansy choo choo, teeny tiny hurdy gurdy, roly poly ragtag, hurly burly riff raff. Rumble tumble hip hop, teeny weeny pop top, nappy pamby hippy dippy hoity toity hot shot. And then Mrs. Bell stood up and took a deep breath. Put put vroom vroom honk honk zoom zoom zigzag clank clank slam bam fender bender ringy dingy cling clang ring a ding boing boing ring a ling zing zing bing bang boom never never wigwam turkey lurkey tom tom tootsie wootsie tittle tattle tee hee hee and then without warning words flooded the air gaga rah rah go go so so Beaver, Lucky Ducky, Trumpy Dumpy, Fat Cat, Super Duper, Duper Scooper. Yo yo, hey hey, Mayday, Shoulda, Coulda, Woulda, Ain't that a hada, Otta, Porgy, Porgy, Hurt, Yum Yum, Winky, Yummy, Yummy, Tumble, Shop, Shop, Sulky, Gobble, Gobble, Rachel, Do Dad, Dum And then, suddenly, silence. Lulu, Mrs. Bell, and Mr. Thomas slumped into chairs and Mrs. Carter flopped onto the cot against the wall. Was it over? No one dared to speak. Lulu whispered, Mrs. Carter, may I please have a drink of water? Mrs. Carter sat up and said, Of course you may, dear. Mrs. Bell smiled weakly at the principal and said, You were magnificent, sir. Mr. Thomas perked up and smiled at everyone. He straightened his tie and said, I think we've done it, people. Mrs. Carter sat down at her desk and went back to checking over her posture records. Mr. Thomas walked across the hall to his office and went back to the letter he was writing. Lulu followed Mrs. Bell down the hallway and soon had her English homework all straightened out. And after English, it was just an ordinary Monday in Walla Walla. Bye bye, Mrs. Ding Dong. Ta ta, Lulu. And that's the end of our Ramalama Ding Dong Harry Berry Snorry Story. Oh dear. See you next time. Thank you, Tanta Mimi. Beachy Beachy Choo Choo Tent. <laughs> Rumble tumble hip hip hip. Bam fender bender ringy dingy clang clang ring a ding boing boing ring a ling ling slam bam fender bender ring. Put put vroom vroom honk honk zoom zoom zig zag clank clank slam bam fender bender ringy dingy cling clang ring a ding boing boing ring a ling zing zing bing bang boom.